Here's your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. As you know, I went to an awful lot of cities around the U.S. during my time with UPI Radio doing my American Montage program. And recently, a friend asked me if I could go back to five of the cities I visited. Which cities would those be? So this week, a look back. If I could do it today, I'd go back to Key West, Florida. It has to be one of the most invigorating places I've ever visited, and I used to go there a lot. When you make the three-and-a-half-hour drive down the Florida Keys on US-1, you slowly enter a semi-tropical world that is very, very different. Key West is the southernmost city in the continental U.S. It's 130 miles southwest of Miami, and that farthest southern point is very visited and photographed. In the early part of the last century, the once isolated, sleepy fishing village of Key West was connected to the rest of the world by a railroad that crossed miles and miles of water on bridges. Many of the supports are still visible today. But when a killer hurricane in the 30s tore up much of the railroad, the old fittings were reconfigured to barely carry a two-lane highway. When a car became disabled on one of the long bridges, traffic often backed up for 20 miles. Every Halloween weekend, this city of 20,000 quadruples in size when a huge Mardi Gras-type festival called Fantasy Fest is held. I was lucky. I went to 13 of them. It's as far south as you can go. It's where the road ends. It's where you throw away your wristwatch and watch the seagulls fly. It's Key West, Florida. Hope you enjoyed that look back at one of my five favorite cities I visited when I used to do all those on-the-road radio shows. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.